Hi, Draymond, Carlos Ramirez, NBC Bay Area and Telemundo. Do you have any side effects uh, from COVID? Do I have side effects from COVID? Yes. I mean, and your conditioning, I mean, your your physical attributes. I think attributes. my conditioning um, just kind of sucks from being off the court for the better part of a month. Um, you know, which is kind of frustrating because I was coming into camp and, like, Great, the probably the best shape that I've came in since maybe my fourth year in the league, and so kind of sucks. Um, but I think anyone off the court for about a month, your condition is going to take more of a hit than anything. How, how concerning were you when you came down with it, and and you had a three month old child? You know, how did that affect you emotionally? During that time, say that one more time. When you came down with the COVID, right? How emotionally affected? Who said I came down with COVID? Well, that's what. Well, you were ill. Okay. How 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 affected did, was that in your family? You know what I mean. The concerns of a three month old and all that. Exposure. When I was out of practice, my family was in LA, so um, I, there was no concerns with that. Um, when I wasn't here, I came back to when I came back to camp. I came back. To San Francisco by myself. My family was still not here, so no concerns. Great. Thanks, everybody. We'll have another one up here shortly. Hey, Draymond. Uh, what are your question. thoughts and feelings on a uh, fanless uh, audience out there? And is there a motivation factor that's kind of missing that helps give you a little boost during the game when the fans are there? I think, you know, for sure. Uh, you know, that's a that's just a challenge that everyone's facing though. It's not just, um, it's not just us. That's been a challenge since you know, all this stuff started happening and the bubble and all of that. Nonetheless, I got to get credit to the Warriors organization with, you know, the things that they were able to pull off with the testing. And, you know, it was, um, it felt great to look up and see my family in the stands, you know, and, uh, my kids, my fiance, my daughter, um, well, both of my daughters and my son, but more importantly, my youngest daughter, you know, coming to her first game, which is why I broke them up like that. Um, you know, it, that that felt great, you know, and so kudos to, you know, our ownership group and uh, the front office. I know some some play, other places are letting teams in, but, you know, with the testing that they did here prior to the game and, you know, just being able to feel safe and not only feel safe, but, you know, I have a three three month old daughter um, to feel safe with her coming in there because you know everyone in this arena has been tested. That was special, and so um, you know, kudos to the organization for continuing to raise the bar in every aspect of you know the you know this league and uh, this business goes. Uh, that was that was very impressive, and and it it felt good. You know, I didn't feel reckless of like oh you you know you're bringing her to the game or you know bringing my kids to the game and like there's some uncertainty there like there's some certainty in knowing that every person who stepped in that building was tested and um and and looking up seeing them there was great so i was appreciative of that uh, obviously you know we can't fill this you know the seats with with fans and rightfully so and understandable um you know we all know uh, where we are with this virus and fighting that. And so, but what they pulled off to safely bring our families in here was great. And I'm appreciative of that.